Welcome back to Cursed Mining. Today we are dealing with the RX 6600 XT. Specifically, I got my hands on the Gigabyte Eagle model. First, I want to show you my initial findings in terms of Ethereum hash rate and efficiency. After that, I want to show you some weirdness I encountered with maxing out the memory clock. So let's start there. I tried in Windows 10 today together with Gminer as well as Team Redminer. I will let my initial trial run for you folks. It's better but you should still be able to make out all the settings. That's the run for around the best settings. Increasing memory higher brought me to what we will talk about after this. But let's do that first run sped up for you. Yeah. So 34 mega hash at around 63 watts is not bad at all, but I know that 6600 XD should manage around the same hash rate even with a little less power consumption. So what would be obvious from my overclocks is that I could still increase the memory clock. The weirdness here though is, the more I increase the memory clock, the lower power consumption goes. This does not really make sense for me. Also hash rate drops after a certain frequency, so with a memory setting of 2336 I had better results than when it was maxed out. I guess here we just have to find the sweet spot. The same happened in Team Red Miner by the way. I had higher hash rate with lower memory clock, but as soon as I'm near to maxing out, power and hash rate drops. It's weird. Did that happen to any of you? With memory of 2400, we drop in the low 20s in terms of hash rate, but also go towards 50 watts power only. Then I decided to bump it down to 2300 again, and suddenly we are back to 33 mega hash, but also 62 watts. So I tried to find the sweet spot between that. My best setting is still around from the beginning. I'd say 34 mega hash at around 62 to 63 watts. To achieve that, I have a maximum core frequency of 1301 and a memory clock of 2336. That's okay and makes it a little bit more efficient than unmodded 1660 Super or TI, which is nice. Don't get me wrong, we have to take the power consumption from the software with a grain of salt. But the same counts for all the tests though that are done with a single 6600 XD on a PSU with power taking from the wall. Also those numbers are not really accurate because of PSU efficiency. I use these software numbers just to orient myself. Oh and I'm not sure if you watch temperatures during the time lapses, the card stays absolutely cool, on core and memory. I can definitely see a full rig of these, efficient as hell and running cool. But also prices are inflated. Here in Europe it's hard to find them below 500 euro, which is a hard sell in my opinion to go for a full rig. I still wanted to have one here to make tests for you folks, so I'm happy with my purchase. I am sure there is more tweaking to do, especially thinking of stuff like more power tools, so we'll definitely return to it. I'm sure there is a better clock to memory combination to get out of this card. That's it for now, easy 33 to 34 mega hash a second for a bit above 60 watts. That is efficient, but honestly while trying to find mine, I saw prices for them rising again, which makes them, yeah, less worth it than they would be on paper. You could find 1616 Super, TI or even 2060s 
for cheaper and those would still perform better on other algorithms than Ethereum for future proving. That's the state of things right now in my opinion. Did any of you get any RX 6000 and especially this card for mining? If so, what were your results? Please tell me in the comments below. That's it, initial testing on the 6600 XT, but I feel like there are still better numbers to achieve. I hope all of you are doing well. Please subscribe for weekly tech and crypto videos. Happy mining and bye.